Hey everyone, Richard from Digital Foundry here, and this is Just Cause 3. Here we're comparing PlayStation 4 to Xbox One, and we're going to be doing things a little differently this time. Your typical comparison video syncs up a number of cutscenes and scripted bits of in-game action. But we're going to carry out this entire head-to-head -head using actual gameplay mirrored between both consoles. Kicking off with this exciting initial sequence, there's little to tell the two versions apart, but the dark scene can serve to hide detail. Certainly though, there's no difference in terms of the action, while effects work looks on par. After landing, what's clear is that ground textures also look identical between the two systems. Now, here we are in a bombastic combat action sequence, taking place in the harsh light of day. The PlayStation 4 version of Just Cause operates at native 1080p, while Xbox One renders at 900p. That's an additional 44% of rendering resolution on the Sony platform, but in common with many games, it's difficult to tell much in the way of difference. There's a good reason for this. When the game is in motion, your display tends to blend detail, but on top of that, Just Cause 3 has an accomplished motion blur implementation. The only real giveaway that Xbox One has a lower resolution comes from a very slight blur on static detail, and also a small amount of pixel pop on the trees in the background. Next up, take a look at this minigun scene we've synchronized between both platforms. This is an interesting sequence because it's really heavy on alpha transparency effects, the minigun muzzle flash and the various explosions. Developers often reduce the resolution of these specific effects in order to save on memory bandwidth, but we can see here that both platforms are operating with the full pixel count, and this can actually have a negative impact on performance, with Xbox One more affected in really intensive scenes. Now let's switch to another scene with an even bigger explosion. And once again, you can see that both systems use the exact same quality of effects work here. Actually, this scene is also interesting in that it lets us check the quality of texture filtering, as you can see on the ground here as it blends away into the distance. It's in the 2x to 4x anisotropic filtering level. It's a bit blurry, and to be honest, you'll need to go to the PC version to do any better. So let's look at some more effects, starting off with the foliage. In some situations, PlayStation 4 looks like it has a higher level of detail, while in others, Xbox One takes point. It actually looks as though there's some kind of procedural generation here, and there's a randomizing factor that can sometimes produce a variation. By and large though, it's the same, and in fact many areas which are lush in foliage are once again entirely identical. Mario Frigo is holding a shotgun fighting. Next up, shadows. These look very much like the PC version running on high settings. And once again, there's an equivalence here between both console versions. And the same goes for the game's lighting effects too. Just Cause 3 is a 30 FPS game, but it often looks a fair bit smoother, and that's down to its motion blur effect. There are two different implementations here. Cutscenes have both object and camera motion blur, but it looks like the gameplay itself restricts this to just the camera only. But as you can see, it is an excellent effect and works very nicely. Finally, in rounding off a look at the game's visual makeup, let's talk draw distances. Once again, by and large, we're looking at platform parity here. What's curious is that there is some variance in terms of popping. Check out this helicopter shot and look at the shadow under the bridge. We're perfectly synced here. There's a noticeable popping on Xbox One, and it takes a full two seconds more for the same shadow to materialize on PlayStation 4. However, when we rerun this same sequence again, this time the result is entirely reversed. All of which brings us to one of the most annoying aspects of the console versions of Just Cause 3, the loading times. Now we've run all of this comparison in real time for you, but here we're going to spare you the agony by doing some time-lapse video. The load times are torturous on both, with the game's initial load in particular proving to be somewhat arduous. Even running Just Cause 3 on a PC with an SSD isn't exactly a speedy experience, but it's massively faster than what we've got here. PS4 is marginally faster in our tests, but in truth it's a pain on both systems. Anyway, that's all we have for now. We'll have more Just Cause 3 videos coming soon, so please subscribe so you don't miss a thing. But in the meantime, thanks for watching.